Hi, I'm Sam, and this is a tutorial on how to set up a 3-axis gyroscope and accelerometer, but more specifically, the MPU 6050 for Arduino. This accelerometer is really cool because it gives you the ability to program anything you can hook to the Arduino to be motion controlled. This is something that I found to be very exciting, so I bought one of these on Amazon for like $4 or super cheap. But when it came in, I kind of just stared at it blankly, seeing if it would reveal its powers to me. After that failing, I then proceeded to research, and after a few hours in many forms, I finally found how to use it. And that's why I'm making this video. Programming this device is actually quite easy after you find out how. Click anywhere on the screen to get a link to the code that I used. If you're a veteran with Arduino, then you'll probably already be able to find out where to plug everything in just by reading the code. But if you're like me and had no, have no experience whatsoever using Arduino before you did this, then you'll realize two things. First, how do I open the damn thing? And by clicking the link, then copy pasting it to Arduino's open source software, which you can get here, then after opening the software, you want to delete all that it says and then paste the code. Once you've pasted the code, then you'll need to find out the second thing. Where am I supposed to plug everything in on the Arduino board to get that code running smoothly? First, you want to solder the two pieces together and then you want to connect the UCC to 5 volts and then GND to GND. This will power the gyroscope and accelerometer. Then the code calls for you to connect the SCL to A5 and SDA to A4. For my wires, I use leftover fan extensions and the other set of pins for the other side. Then lastly, boot the program up and it should be working. And now you can have motion control program to your heart's content. Stay tuned for my next video where I use the same motion control technology to control an RC car with my hand. And watch my last video where I built an oil-cooled PC case with fish inside. And as always, thanks for watching.